this thing on, hello? What up world, Julian here, and welcome back to Told by Thomas, where I tell you how I live my bachelor life here in New York City, Brooklyn, New York to be exact. I'm from Brooklyn. I read Brooklyn all day. They killed Biggie. What part of Brooklyn are you I'm from? from Brownsville. You're from Brownsville. Brownsville you are very Brooklyn. Day. You are very I'm Brooklyn. So fucking Brooklyn. And on today's video, if you haven't been able to tell already, we are doing another bachelor pad DIY where I am finally getting me a new kitchen. That's right, if you've been following me for a while now, then you might remember all the way back to my very first YouTube video that I have a love-hate relationship with my kitchen and cooking in general. All right, and here is my kitchen. It's pretty basic, low-key, kind of boring. Um, I like the fact that it is white. It makes everything look cleaner. Um, this countertop thing is from Ikea because there was no built-in, you know, countertops besides this two-foot sink. Well, judgment day has finally come and it is time for me to give my kitchen the facelift she deserves. We're actually going to split up this kitchen reno into two parts. The first part, the part that you're watching now, we are going to tackle all of the big stuff. So we are going to paint, we are going to install some, uh, some new storage, like an open pantry, and even get a new kitchen island. And we're even going to try to install a tile backsplash. Will I be getting my security deposit back? Who the hell knows? And on part dose, you will see me clean, declutter, organize my new kitchen so we can take full advantage of the space. So definitely make sure you subscribe to my channel and you turn on post notifications so you do not miss the follow up. Um, so without further ado, let's get to it. All right, so first things first, I cleared out my kitchen of loose kitchen tools in the bulky IKEA island. Remember, I'll be doing a full kitchen clean, declutter, and organization in my next video, so make sure you subscribe. Next, it was time to roll up my sleeves and get messy. If you've been following me, then you might remember that I have a love obsession with Backdrop Home Paint. They're like the cool kids of pink. This color that I'm using is Super Moon, which is Backdrop's purest white. Now, it may look like I'm not painting anything as my cabinets and walls were already white, but trust, they were filthy. I'm talking covered in splitter splatter like God knows what. So a fresh coat of white paint was much needed. After my walls were painted whiter than your favorite brand's executive leadership board, I added this sleek stainless steel kitchen island which was hand me down from a friend, and then I added a trash can and a rolling cart next to the island, both of which I already owned. This is going to make storage and cleanup so much easier. I kept that DIY energy on 10 by throwing down some wood planks and got to staining. I then took the freshly stained wood and made very precise measurements and cuts until I had four equal planks. I then took these ultra modern matte black brackets and attached two of them to each plank to form a shelf. Almost breaking my neck, I hung the four shelves stacked vertically to create a makeshift open pantry. You guys, this is a great DIY for those with minimal built-in storage space like myself. To round out day one of part one of this kitchen reno, I built two additional storage units cause you know, where else am I going to store all the takeout containers that I'm sure I will continue to accumulate even though I just invested heavily in a new kitchen to cook my own food. 
I then did some light cleanup and organization just to get an idea of how I want all of my kitchen tools and essentials to be placed in my next video. She's spicy. What up world and welcome back to day two of the first part to my kitchen reno. Uh, actually, this is more like day three or day four. Uh, while you all were resting your pretty little heads and also what I hope was being vocal and active on social, letting the world know about systemic racism. Uh, I was busy doing just that. Uh, as well as doing some updates to uh, my kitchen just to move things on a little bit faster. So let me show you what I did. Hold on, that's the train, hold on. All right, so the first thing that I did was uh, I replaced uh, the old Ikea kitchen island that I had uh, I replaced it with this really cool stainless steel island. This is actually a hand-me-down from a very good friend of mine, Paige. I kept it in the same location. However, you'll notice that it is quite smaller than the island that was here before, which I actually like. I don't need that much space when it comes to uh, the kitchen island and prep. Um, this is exactly what I need, the perfect length. Uh, I have room to move on the opposite side, especially when it comes to actually cooking and doing dishes. Um, I also like the fact that I put the trash can right here as well. Um, it makes for prep that much easier between cutting things. I can easily just, you know, put things in the trash and keep the space nice and clean while I cook. Next up, what did I do? Um, oh yeah, I added an open pantry. So I actually got this idea on Pinterest, um, and specifically these brackets, I got them from Home Depot. You guys, this one was really simple and it was like a simple DIY that looks expensive. All I did was I got two planks. I believe they were, I know for a fact they're 10 inches deep. I think about six feet long. I cut them in half so they are all even three feet, which is the perfect uh, width for this wall right here. And then I just stained, sanded, and threw in some brackets, and there you go, an open pantry. Um, again, on part two of the kitchen renovation, that's where we will go into, you know, organizing everything, decluttering everything, buying new kitchen tools, making everything look, you know, pretty and spiffy and all that good stuff. So definitely make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so you can see the follow up to that. In addition, as you can see, I have another storage rack right here where I can keep plates and like other small appliances. It's very, again, you guys, this is extremely efficient. Everything is grab and go, you know, grab and move on. I, I just, everything is really, really coming along. Oh, excuse me. Ooh. Ooh, excuse me, that, that juice is coming back. Ooh. All right. But yeah, everything is finally coming together except the final part to the first part of this riddle. Whoa. 
And that is a backsplash. All right, before I end today's video, I wanted to quickly show you guys how I installed the subway tile backsplash. Now, I know subway tile is a little overdone, but considering this is New York and I live so damn close to the train, as you guys can see, I figured it'd be an appropriate fit. Now, keep in mind, this is no pill and stick. This ain't for play play. This is the real deal, you feel me? So to start, I simply outlined each mosaic tile sheet to ensure I had enough coverage. Then I applied a thick, I'm talking thick with two C's, amount of premix mortar, and I was sure to draw horizontal lines with the grout trowel, 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 I don't know, that grout thing, uh, to ensure that the mosaic would stick. I then carefully set each sheet on the mortared wall, doing my best to align each new sheet with the previous. I'm gonna be honest and say that in hindsight, I wish I did individual tiles, only because that allows for more room for error. I followed this process five times until I reached the opposite end of the wall. After a day or two, I let the mortar set and then applied a charcoal colored grout, which makes the backsplash look a little more city-like in my opinion. Oh yeah, then I did this vinyl thing to try and spiffy up my decrepit looking sink. And that's all I'm gonna give you guys for today's video. Make sure you subscribe so you can catch part dose of my kitchen reno coming next week. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked what you saw. And please drop a comment below to let me know what you think. Feel free to follow me on Instagram at told by Thomas. I'm pretty responsive, but if you do decide to swim into my DMs, just make sure you come correct. Don't blame me. Also on Instagram, you can get an early preview to my final reveal. Hashtag just saying. As always, be nice to each other, and I'll catch you in next week's video for the finale of my kitchen minnow. Peace.